good afternoon everyone we are from uh, medlab solution and we are representing uh, labomed in andhra and telangana so these are the top two models of labomed one is lx400 and one is lx500 so here we will be explaining the difference between and the features of lx400 and what is the difference between 400 and lx500 so we're talking about lx400 model first we will talk about the head part the head has got a side end of movement and the field of view of the eye pieces is uh, 20 mm in the other normal microscope the field of view is 18 mm but this is the only microscope in this much budget that is offering you 20 mm field of view so 2 mm more area you are able to see inside the microscope with compared to other models now talking about the angle part this has got a 30 degree angle of inclination while in other microscopes you are getting 45 degree angle of inclination now what is the difference when the angle is 30 degree with respect to 45 degree now when you are using a 45 degree angle of inclination you have to sit it with the erect position to see the microscope while if the angle of inclination is 30 degree we can sit in the lean position also because the height is little less so you are able to sit in the lean position when you are using 30 degree angle of inclination now unless in other microscopes like olympus c x 21i or 20i you have to unscrew the screw while there is no screw over here to unscrew it so straight away we can rotate it to a 360 degree angle uh, unless in other microscope you have to rotate the screw and then you have to give it a uh, anti clockwise or clockwise direction here we can straight away move it plus the uh, this is not a sliding head this is the side end of movement and butterfly movement in lx400 so we can move up till here with the respect that we don't have to uh, the interpolarly distance between the two ibcs is less with as compared to the sliding head here you get more uh, interpolarly distance as compared to uh, sliding head now talking about the objective part this has got a reverse nose piece the objectives are not in the forward direction but in the backward direction now what is the benefit of the objective being a uh, backward direction suppose we place a slide over here stop it slide 